Hi everyone, it's Paula here from Craftables and thank you for joining me again today. Um, thank you for subscribing to our YouTube channel too. Um, if you want to subscribe to there and hit the bell icon, that means you'll get a notification every time we put a new video up, so you never miss one. So thank you so much again for joining me today. So this is our card that we're going to do today. So it's a men's card, a little bit rusticy looking and our little giraffe here wobbles on the front, which is kind of cool. <laughs> Alright, so let's get started. So I have an A5 card base here, and I have cut a piece of the Steampunk Safari Uniquely Creative paper here, and I've cut that down to measure four and an eighth by five and three quarters. So what I've done is I've just gone around there with my scissors, and if you have um, a distress tool, that you can use that, but if you haven't, just scissors is fine. And all I've done is I've gone in and I've just really rough that up along with my scissors there so as you can see it's all sort of fluffing off there and it really sort of roughs that paper up like that then I came in after I'd done that around all four sides I came in with my Distress Oxides vintage photo and the reason I like the Distress Oxides for this part is because it does give that really deep sort of dark sort of burnt look to it so I've just come in with a finger dauber my Distress Oxide Vintage Photo, and I've just inked around those edges along there, like that. So I've gone around all four sides there. Now when I was doing my um, roughing up with my scissors, I did cut into my paper, but that's just fine. If you don't do that with your scissors, then I suggest you actually do it with your fingers and rip a piece there. So I've just ripped a little bit there, and I've just rolled it back on there so it looks way more vintage there. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to put... A little bit of twine around the outside of this so I've already put some tape on the back here and I'm just going to pop one end of the twine into that tape just to hold it in place and I'm just going to wrap it around about eight times so you don't want it to be straight or anything you want it to sort of be a little bit off center and I'm just going to gently wrap it around just as many times as you want So that'll do for me. So I'm just going to stick that into my sticky tape there again. And I'm just going to cut off that extra piece. So there you have it. So it's all just wound around there in random places. And now I can pop that onto my card base. So it's going to be a little bit smaller than the card. And it's going to give you a little bit of a black border around there. Just like that. Okay, so now I've, met, I've managed to grab another piece of paper and I've cut this one to two and a half by five and three quarters. I've ripped down one side here. And what I've done, so I've done the same. I've roughed up around the edges with my scissors and then I've ripped down one side and I've gone back in with my finger dauber and my ink and I've just inked up along there as well and give it that really nice burnt type of look there. Okay, so we'll just pop that there for now. Um, in the Safari Steampunk, the, sorry, the Steampunk Safari, there are papers that have all this stuff on the bottom, which is really great. So I've just gone ahead and cut around them, but they're a little bit too stark white for me, so I bought my Distress Ink back in, and I just went around the outside and inked it up again. Just really roughly, don't, don't think about it too much. So I've just gone around the outsides of that as well. And then I did come back in, and do a little bit of inking on this white stuff. So I haven't pushed down very hard. I've just sort of come over and I've just rubbed over it just a little bit. Just to make that white go away a little bit. Just so it looks a little bit more vintage -y like that. Okay. There we go. So I'm actually going to stick this piece onto the back of that piece there now. So I have put some foam tape on here first. So I've gone around all four sides with some foam tape. I'm going to take the backing off and I'm going to stick this down onto the foam tape there just like that so I'm just going to cut off these edges because we don't need those and this one here there we go so we've got that nicely there it's still a wee bit too white for my liking there we go all right so this piece is going to go straight onto your card here so I'm just going to leave a little bit of a gap on this left hand side and a little bit over this way so I'm just going to go ahead I'm going to put a bit more tape down there just because I've covered up my foam with my cogs and we're just going to pop that down onto the card base ok 
change. There we go. Awesome. Okay, I'm nearly done on this one. It's a very quick and easy one. All right, so what I want to do now is go through and poke some holes in my cogs. So I've got my pokey tool, and I'm just going to poke a little hole in the middle of that one, pop a brad through it, split the pins at the back, and then I'm going to do that on a couple more there. So I just might put one more in here. Put another brad through. Split the pins. And I might just put one in there, in the middle of that cog. And I might just put one through that little cog at the end there. Awesome. There you go. So we've got some little brads in there as well, just to give it a bit more manliness to it i guess <laughs> all right so i've gone ahead and i've just i've just done these on my my computer so i've just done a text box and made it black and then i've just written in there with white um what do you call it a white font in there so i'm just going to stick these down at the top of my card here so i don't want to come down too far because i don't want my giraffe going over the top of it but i do want to leave enough gap between the words to do that black lines around there so when you're popping these down just make sure you've got a bit of room to do your black lines here we go so i'm just going to get a black pen any pen will do and i'm just going to really roughly draw black lines around there they don't have to be perfect There we go. So just really roughly. Don't think about it too hard at all. Right, now for our giraffe. So I have cut out a little giraffe from one of the uh, Steampunk Safari papers. Come here. There we go. So I've cut him out, and I want him to go right there. But I want him to wobble. So what I've done is I've cut a half inch. I can't see it. There we go. A half inch piece of strip of acetate. Now this is the thickest one I could find, just because I want it to have a bit more sturdiness to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move that out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to fold that about half an inch. Okay, so I've folded that about half an inch there. And I'm just going to fold it back on itself about four times. So you're just concertina folding it about four times. So you end up with that zigzag look there. Okay, so I'm just going to cut that off. And I'm going to put a wee bit of tape on the top of that one there now I'm going to put two strips on because I just don't want my little draft falling off okay so I'm just going to pop my giraffe in the middle of that piece there like that so he's just going to get stuck on the back can't see that acetate very well can we so I'm just going to put another little bit of um, tape on the bottom of this piece now so again, I'm just going to put two strips on there just to make sure it doesn't come off. Um, you can use glue if you want. I just, I just find it takes a wee bit longer to dry and stick down, but um, it does stick very well with the glue. All right, so I'm just going to stick him down where I want him on there, push him down nice and tight, and then he's going to have that wobble to him. So anything you want wobbly on your cards, just use a bit of acetate. Constantina fold it a few times in a zigzag. And then just pop it on and the great thing is is that when you put it in an envelope this folds down and then when it comes out of the envelope it can pop back up again okay so that's it very quick easy card to do um guys love cards that move and do things so i always try and put a bit of a movable object on my cards for men so this was a fun one to do and i just love the fact that it goes down flat in an envelope and then just pops up again so i hope you give it a go and i hope you enjoyed it and i will um, see you again next week with another card Thanks, everybody. Bye.